Good morning. Um, I don't feel like doing anything today, which is why I'm making a video because I need to do things and I need motiva motivation to do those things. So I just need to go to the store and it's not really a need. Like I want to go to the store because I want to make cookies for my coworkers. Last week I made them like lemon cookies and I want to make some, like, pumpkin spice cookies because I've been obsessed with pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice haters. I don't want to hear it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get ready. And then I'm going to drag myself to the store to buy a couple of things. And then some stuff for dinner tonight. So anyway, we're going to make some cookies together. Welcome to my bathroom. Just going to make myself look more presentable. I just like to rip through my hair. I used to have a wet brush and I... I like them, um, but this is a tangle teaser, and I traded my wet brush for this tangle teaser. But I, I literally just traded this girl her hairbrush for mine, because she wanted a wet brush, and I was like, here, you can just have mine. Like, I'm not really that attached to it. Sorry it's echoing here, but I guess, like, for me, like, my brush doesn't really matter that much because, like, my hair is, like, look at it, like, come on. It doesn't need a lot. It's not picky. I can use this in the shower, and it doesn't have, like, you know, most brushes, even my um, wet brush had like like a little gap in it so like water could get in and stuff. This doesn't have that, so I can take it in out of the shower. That's all I need it for. And like, you know, this. And you know what's funny? I could wear my hair down, but I'm gonna put it right back up in a bun. I'm gonna put my hair up for now. I'm gonna wear it down today, gang, but I need it to wash my face. This is what I use. It's the Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. When I was in Turkey, my face started to break out, and like you can see, everyone can see it. It was really bad. I'll put pictures up. It's very embarrassing. It was so bad, I didn't know what was going on, and this literally saved my skin. Not saying that it's gonna do anything for anyone, but it worked for me, and I I'm never gonna stop using it now. And then I paired that with the aloe NAG and the niacinamide by The Ordinary. Saved my skin. And then I got the natural moisturizing factors plus beta glucan. It's like a water based, I think, moisturizer. And this like really saved me when I was in India because yes, my face started breaking out in Turkey. And then like months and months later, it just kept getting worse and worse. And then when I was in India, like, yeah, and then it was so hot in India, ridiculously hot, like 120 degrees. So I needed something that was lightweight and not like with hyaluronic acid. A lot of moisturizers have hyaluronic acid. And what I've heard is that like it pulls moisture from like the air and it's humid in India. So like if you put it on, it like immediately starts to like melt off. And like, I don't know how accurate any of that is, but like when I would put hyaluronic acid on, it just felt like, I just felt like greasy and weird. And yeah, that was breaking me out. So I just switched to all of these products and all of these products are safe for fungal acne because I think that's what I was struggling with because I started to put a fungal cream on my face. Don't do that. But I started to put a fungal cream on my face and it started getting better. But then I like killed my moisture barrier. So then it was just bad. But if you're struggling with any of that, maybe this would actually work for you. It works for me. It helped a lot saved my skin and I'm still recovering, but it's a lot better than it was. Sorry, the sink is dripping. Then I rinse it off and then I just hang it up there to dry. Then I dry my face and then I put my potions on, my moisturizer, and then I'll leave. And I go in with the niacinamide first. I don't think that the order really matters with these specific serums. I know with some, you have to layer them on specifically. Like one of my serums is an oil. I'm not using it today. I'm saving that for winter. It's like a squalane oil and I'm just saving that for winter in case my skin gets really dry. It needs more moisture, but I don't really wanna use hyaluronic acid a whole lot. I don't know, like there's really nothing wrong with it, but I'm traumatized. <laughs> Skin's already feeling so much better. Let that dry and then I'll put on my moisturizer. This is like almost gone. I have uh, another bottle, but I'm really trying to use this up. <laughs> That's probably enough. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth, probably off camera, just because I won't be able to talk, so see you in a bit. I don't have a tripod, but here's the fit. I got my goose sweater, these jeans, they have holes in them, and these shoes. <laughs> And these shoes. So now we're ready to leave. So I'm in my car in my driveway. It got hot outside. I wish I wasn't wearing this goose sweater. I'm gonna go to the store and get the stuff that I need. I'll show you what we got. Give you a little hurl, a little haul. Anything to get me out of the house, man. Okay, 
it's 410. I didn't do that bad. So first up, we have cream cheese frosting. This appears to be vegan. I did quite a bit of research on it to make sure, but one of my coworkers is vegan. So I just want to make an inclusive dessert. <laughs> and then I got some carb smart tortillas for dinner tonight because my family is careful with carbs. Got some of those. We're doing like an enchilada skillet and you kind of just like cut those up into little squares and then you throw it in the skillet and it's just like enchiladas but like easier well it is easier yeah it's just like easy enchiladas that take like 30 minutes then i got some plant-based butter because obviously you can't make cookies without butter and then i got some eggs because i eat eggs pretty much every day and yep we ran out that's it that's the haul <laughs> Yeah, driving home, I mean, since I have like a 30 minute drive, I have a lot of time to like think and <laughs> something came up that I wanted to talk about, I guess. I've been feeling like really disconnected from my emotions today specifically, kind of just been like in a funk, which is why I didn't feel like doing anything today, but I wanted to make this video anyway. Um, And I was hoping that, you know, like doing something like fun and, you know, easy would be enough to like kind of get me out of it but i guess i don't know like i still kind of feel a little bit off and i think normally this would happen and i think a lot of it's just like insecurity like i don't like it's like i'm insecure about like what i'm making right now it's like do people really want to like watch me go to the store and like show them like basic stuff and just like everyday things like you know it's like not entertaining and there's like all of these things that i think in my head and then i'm just like i kind of like discourage myself because you know i mean i went went into this to get myself like out of a funk and then i'm like talking down about the whole thing so it's like yeah i guess i was just able to like catch that and i don't want to give up i don't want to like not post this video because deep down like i i don't want to value like the opinion of other people so much so that it stops me from being creative and doing something that i like to do um and nobody's said anything no one's really watching these videos anyway i just like to create things i like i love editing the videos and stuff um I have a lot of fun with it i was gonna make cookies anyway so i might as well kind of like hang out with anybody you know even if there's one person in the world that's watching this video and they need some someone to like hang out with for the day like i can be that person but i just thought i would like kind of talk about that a little bit because it's a real thing that's like always stopped me in the past and it's kind of cool to like acknowledge it and decide i'm going to continue to move forward anyway so yeah i just needed to take like a moment to let all of that out because i think i could have forced myself to like go on like nothing was wrong and not take in a moment to try to figure out like what was really going on and most of the time when i'm feeling disconnected from my emotions is because i'm ignoring something in myself that needs attention this is how i can give that attention and still go on you know about my day and now i can like enjoy what i'm about to do because i'm not ignoring a part of myself if that makes sense so yeah now that i'm home we can make cookies together. So the recipe that I'm following is Jessica in the Kitchen. I'll leave a link in the description. Technically the first step is the dry ingredients, but last time I put sugar in with the dry ingredients because it's dry and really messed up. <laughs> and baking is completely different than cooking, so. So we're just gonna pop that in there. And then I already measured the brown sugar. One stick of butter and one cup of brown sugar. I don't have a stand mixer, so I'm gonna have to mix it by hand. See you in five hours. This is definitely not creamed. It should be fine. Now I need a half a cup of pumpkin puree. That is lovely. Now I need one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm switching to voiceover. This is two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, cinnamon. Cinnamon? One of those was pumpkin pie spice. Um, I'm just giving it a mix. And this is what the batter kind of looks like right now. And then I'm going to slowly mix in a little bit of flour, little by little. It's an entirely new day. I think it's actually been a few days. Um, I already made the cookies. I already gave them to my coworkers, but I have some batter left over. So we will finish baking together. Um, basically, I'm just going to roll them into a little one ounce ball and then put them in the oven. A lot of recipes don't expect people to like weigh out the cookie dough, but I just like to keep everything uniform. And I like these little little baby cookies, they're so cute. This is them right before they go in the oven. Goodbye cookies. Let's chat for a minute. 
First of all, I thought that I lost all of the footage from a couple days ago, and I was kind of annoyed, but I was I was willing to like re refilm. So, like I said, I've really been struggling with like doubt and insecurity and stuff and posting videos and things like that. This is crazy because one of my friends reached out and like he knows that I have a YouTube channel, but he doesn't know like how much I struggle with it and everything. I just said that I like to make content, whatever. And out of the blue, yesterday or the day before, he sent me this YouTube video that was like why you should keep making videos and it was from a smaller YouTuber. Um I haven't even watched it yet, which I really should. I think I might do that right now. So the video is about 11, 12 minutes long and I do want to watch the rest of it but just for the sake of time and because I really really want to get this video done because it's already been a few days since I started filming. The three points given at the very beginning of the video of why you should have a YouTube channel not why you should keep making videos. <laughs> too specific but the three main points are like you know your voice is more important than you think it builds community and i don't remember the third one i'm so sorry so the point is my friend sent me that link and i was like okay this is kind of crazy like i was struggling with should i make content does anyone really want to see this you know does anyone want to hear me talk about my day does anybody want to watch me bake cookies just him sending that link alone the next day after i was having all these doubts and after i thought i had worked through it but i still didn't keep filming um it was just like really confirming that i do want to make videos like this is something that i like to do and this is something that i want to do um and consistency has always been really hard for me which brings me to the next crazy thing is my aunt and i were spending time together today and um she doesn't know anything about my youtube channel but she felt like god was asking her to talk to me about consistency which is so crazy because yes like that's what i've been wanting and so i was able to like open up to her about my youtube channel and what i want to do and kind of like the vision for it um which is to build community and just relate to people you know and maybe be a friend to someone who doesn't have a lot of friends and things like that like i just i just want to have that connection i guess um and she was super encouraging about it and that's why i'm finishing film today just wanted to share that because it was really cool and yeah just like kind of God even to encourage me to continue to keep going you know through my through my friend through my aunt through even the person that made that YouTube video um which I'll link in the description as well anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys I thought it was really cool thanks for the intermission back to the cookies Okay, I'm back. I had to flatten the cookies down um, because, I don't know, they're vegan cookies. I don't know if the butter and, like, the vegan butter is making it to where they don't, like, flatten out. I think I have a tripod somewhere, like a little tabletop tripod. I'm gonna go try to find it. Sorry for the terrible camera angles. Like I said before, until I can prove to myself that, like, this is something that I want, I'm gonna just try to be resourceful. This is so much better. I totally forgot that I had this tripod. I bought it for my trip thinking that I was gonna have like a vlog um, situation going the whole year. But that year was really difficult and yeah, as you know, there were times that I was really inspired to make content and I was on TikTok for a really short period of time um, in the end of Romania, beginning of Albania. Throughout Albania, honestly, I really started to pick it up and then um, just a lot of stuff was happening, which I definitely want to talk about sometime. So I'll get into that one day. I don't really know when, but I promise I'll talk about it because it was a really big part of my life. Um, I want to talk more about my trip too. I feel like this is a good way for me to process a lot of the year that I experienced and be able to share with y'all what my life was like for the past year traveling and living out of a backpack. So could be fun stuff. This is the frosting that I'm using. It's cream cheese Pillsbury. My personal favorite is Betty Crocker, but Pillsbury is pretty good. I was too lazy to wait for it to cool completely. So it's still really warm, but let me tell you, I let them sit and like actually cool properly. And I put them in a container to take to work. They were like cake and it was so good. Um, This recipe is definitely not like a typical cookie in my opinion. It tastes exactly like a pumpkin roll though. I'm gonna take a bite because I kind of have to. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Definitely cake. Yeah, y'all should definitely make these, especially if you're vegan. 
or you have vegan friends that you want to bake for they will be very very impressed i promise the texture is spot on they taste they taste good warm but i'm not gonna lie they taste better the second day which is not true for a lot of cookies it was a lot of fun to bake i think i want to bake for them more often because i i've really enjoyed baking and if you guys um had a good time watching then i'll maybe film another baking video thank you so much for watching this video um if you liked it leave a like and subscribe if you want to see any more content from me definitely have some plans i don't know when the next time i will post will be but i definitely want to and i you know i'm working on being consistent so you will see me again i don't know when but it will happen i have a stream that i recorded like probably two years ago now maybe it was a year ago i don't know um, and I think I'm gonna upload that. It's not on my Twitch for some reason, but I found the file today while I was getting everything ready for this video. So I'm gonna re-upload that if you like to watch a stream. It's Untitled Goose Game. I love that game and I absolutely want to get back into streaming. Um, I just like am not able to right now but hopefully I'll be able to in the future. It was fun hanging out. Um, I would love if you would leave a comment, a recipe that you want me to try next, or if there's anything that you want to talk about, just leave it in the comments. I want to respond. Um, I don't really have a lot of comments on my videos or anything like that, so I should be able to keep up is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.